Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with part 5 of the AVS Video Editor tutorial series. Uh, this time we're going to be focusing on the sound lines, which are the two last ones down here. Um, the default setting for the sound lines is one line for the audio mix and one line for voice recording. Now that's not necessarily suggesting that this is only for voice recording. Um, see, I'm just going to take a file right here. I'm just going to take a regular music file and show you that this music file can go on the audio mix line and it can also go in the recording line. So it's just really um, just general audio lines. You can put any type of audio file in. <clears throat> so um, I usually just don't mess with the audio lines in here. Uh, once you put the music down, you can edit the music further. Um, this red line right here, which I'm clicking on, um, that's uh, just adjusting the volume of how loud it's going to be compared to the rest of the video. You can also press this button with the little speaker. It balances, well you can change the balance of the video overlay, the main line, and the audio compared to each other. So we're just going to click this song. Um, you can right click on it and you can get all these options in here. If you press the audio right here, or you can press this button. It will send you to a settings page. Uh, you can amplify it, noise removal, equalize, normalize, compressor, and pitch shift. Now I normally don't use those that much. Um, I do use the pitch shift, pitch shift sometimes. But I usually don't mess with some of the stuff. There are some preset stuff where you can increase the bass and stuff. Which is available for all these. Uh, once again, you can add that fade option. And you can apply how loud you want it to be. And of course you can preview it. And then you can increase the speed of the sound. Which you can't really hear right now. But you can press the speed button and the audio will stretch out. But it doesn't sound as good. You can also slow it down. So there you have it. Um, that's just general stuff for the audio line. Look at some of this over here. Same stuff. I'm not really sure what most of these do. I just know what the pitch shift does. Makes it higher pitch, lower pitch. Um, don't really use those that much. So we're going to take that out. What you can do is you can also add a voice recording. And voice recordings are pretty cool. I'm just going to set this up real quick. Um, I'll add... Uh, at least we can get this started here. Voice recording, the audio is automatically going to go in here. The output file, however, I'm not really sure where it's going. So, hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man. So there's the audio line, and we'll take a listen to it. Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man. So there you go. You can import that right there. You can also make your repeat. Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man. Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man. You can do that, and of course you can apply the same audio edits as you can with the main line here. And also, I'm sure you've already noticed this, is the sound waves. That does correspond with the sound that's going on, so it's pretty helpful when editing, so you can apply certain clips at drops and stuff. Um, also, you can add multiple audio lines by right-clicking on the audio line and pressing Add Line. You can add multiple lines, I'm not sure how many you can do actually but I didn't really want to test that limit. So that's fun to use. Um, let's see, we can import all types of stuff. All types of music. Stuff like that. And then you can overlay them. You can lock the lines. Now, what's important about locking the line is when you apply a main video line or you cut it out, the audio line is also going to be affected. So that's pretty important. If you lock it, it's not going to move. So I'm just going to lock this first line. And then we're going to apply a mainline video. And you see what it did? It split the audio line. So you're going to have to lock it just so it doesn't move. So this is pretty much all that I have to say about sound. It's pretty, pretty simple, the audio settings here. Um, except for the fact that all these options you can choose from. I don't normally use them again, so you can really test, you know, you can do some tests with these, add whatever you like, just give some trials and stuff, whatever fits you. So, 
This is all I have to say for the audio. Uh, if you like the video, press that like button. You can check out all the other video series that I'm doing on ABS Video Editor. So that's really all I have to say. So, see ya.